Welcome everyone to another episode of Joey's Garage. This is a very special episode because it is the final ending of my GY6 series, Make Your Scooter Great Again. I'm excited. This has been a long trip trying to get down this way. I thought it would be something very easy you could do. Well, if you're not filming, you're not editing, you're not doing all this other stuff, it would take one, two days tops. But for me, man, this took about a couple weeks now. But I've enjoyed every minute of it. So, for the last thing that I need to do is I got this mirror little assembly piece right here to replace. You notice on this side I have a mirror, this side I should, but it's gone. What happened was my scooter got knocked over by someone. This mirror kind of took an impact on the other side and it cracked the little assembly right here. I should be able to show you a little bit better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it. So, the tools you're going to need is going to be a flathead Phillips screwdriver. I got a crescent wrench here of 14, which I found to be the right size for my throttle cable. And adjustable wrench, just in case I can't get into the right spot, so I have both. And what you're going to do first is you need to locate where the screws are that hold your assembly together. As I said, this is plastic, so you want to be very careful with it. But you can see that I have a screw over here. I have a screw right here. And it's uh, identical on the other side. Other than that, it looks like those are the only ones. But with this, you can easily look around in there and see if there are any other screws. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a screw. So I'm going to have to worry about that. I'm guessing there's going to be two of them. And if I look underneath here, if you get a good view of it, I can see that I don't see any more. So most likely they're going to be tabbed or the little plastic tabs. So I'm looking around, I don't see any on the top. And as I said, we got that one right over here that you can see and the one on the other side. All right, so I got all these outside screws out. Make sure you save them just in case you don't want to lose anything. And next, we're gonna to have to remove this assembly. Like I said, plastic, be very careful with it. But it should come apart pretty easily. Like I'm pulling on it now. Looks like I have a tab right there. I found a screwdriver. Gets it pretty easy just to pry it just a little bit to help it out. Like there we go. You can see it popped out now. And you just need to go around and just get those little tabs. I'm not prying too hard because you're going to bend it. You're going to blemish it. You're going to, you know, twist it up just very lightly because you just want to get these pieces apart so the screws are off and this should be able to fall away not completely because it's still connected to the lights right here since you have to have power and wires running to the lights but it fell away just enough that I'm able to access this area now but I still have that screw down there that is getting blocked by my um, hydraulic gear or for the hydraulics for my front brake so this is a problem I just ran into I just realized it but I thought of an easy fix for it as you can see it's hooked onto the handlebars right here by two screws or other bolts what I figured is I can just loosen these bolts be able to shift this just a little bit so I'm be able to get to the actual screws for this panel so that's what I'm going to do right now and I have um, the ratchet for it. I found it was an 8 millimeter. So I'm just going to loosen up these two bolts right here and I should be able to swing it just enough that I can get access to those screws. And as you can see it's a very easy process. I'm not taking these off altogether. I just need it loose enough that I can swing and maneuver this just like that perfect so now if I come around to over here if I get some better light too hopefully you'll be able to see this I have a screw right here and I have a screw right in there now that the screws are out this piece comes apart very easily now you can see that's the inside where it has the switch, the kill switch, and on this side, it has the throttle cable. And this was removed, this little end piece, 
from over here on this part of the throttle because that's what actually moves the throttle piece or the throttle cable when you turn the handle. So I got those two pieces removed and I just wanted to show you now the next step is removing this piece right here which will get the throttle cable out of the assembly. I'll do that. Bottom part is back together or the new one's on. I just need to remove the tie from this top part and put it on back together. I showed that on the earlier piece so all I have to do is I'm going to need to cut this cable tie right here remove the plug and put the new plug back on. So it's going to be a very easy process as I said. I'll just snip this being very careful not to cut a wire because I don't want to do electrical work right now and be able to remove that. And now from there I can actually bring this out find where the plug is and it's going to be now if you can see it it's going to be that plug right there. I just pulled on it and I found it and I'm able to remove the old one like so very easily and then I can put the new one back on so just throw this old one aside I got the new one ready and it's going to be the same plug I researched it and I can re-plug it back in real quick now from here just make sure I cable tie it back together like it was it was these together and then it came together with these something like that and then I have a new cable tie and everything goes back together and it was happy like it was so I put it all back together and it is done trim it off just like it was and there we go new plug installed cable tied back together now I can put this back onto the handlebars put this back together the plastic piece and we are gonna be done so let's keep it moving I'm almost done now this whole new assembly is going back together just putting the screws back together long on the top short on the bottom and I should be about ready uh, one quick tip for I found out while I was putting it back together was for the throttle cable that runs down and back to the carburetor or down and back to the carburetor is you might have to take it off of the um, carburetor so you can get enough slack to put it back together on the handlebars which is no big deal because I'm going to have to readjust it anyways for this new assembly piece so I just took it off of the carburetor I got enough slack that I can get it back together and then I'll just put it back together on the carburetor put it back on and just reassemble or um, readjust the slack so I just get that little bit of play before I actually hit the throttle but that's no big deal whatsoever so I learned that one too as I said I'm just going along uh, figuring out the little problems as they come along and fixing them up so from here this is nice and good um, don't want to put it too much because I just thought you want a little bit of play on it because I'm gonna have to adjust it and fit it to this plastic piece so I have it just a little bit I'm gonna have to need to know where this goes so I can move this this new assembly out and make sure I have my brake um, caliper adjusted with the plastic piece so I'll dry fit it make sure it's in the perfect spot where it needs to be so all these plastic pieces fit and then I'll tighten everything back down and I'll be good to go so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna dry fit these back together I'm gonna make sure these are aligned where it needs to be and then I will tighten it down and then I'll be done so that's where I'm at right now so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, come back and we'll finish this up but I want to give that quick tip and tell you exactly what I'm doing next and with that wraps up another episode I got it dry fitted I got it all back together as you can see I'll cut away you can see it's no seams whatsoever I got it right back together no divots I didn't blemish it it turned out pretty good I'm very happy with the results got the mirror back on now I'm up to speed so I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoyed the series like I said it took a lot of time a lot of effort but I think it was worth it because as I said the whole point of it was make your scooter great again. You didn't have those little pieces here and there. You have that preventative maintenance. Why not fix it? It's very easy. The new part or assembly that I just put on for the switch and for the horn or for the start and that holds a mirror, it was about 12 bucks on Amazon. 
I'll put a link to the description or in the descriptions below if you need the part also. But it's easy. All these parts are very easy fixed just as long as you follow very simple steps and you know what you're doing. I hope I help somebody out. As I said, I wasn't going to do this one. I was just going to wrap it up with the last GY6 episode and call it a day. But I had a couple people ask and I had to do it anyways because they noticed that I was missing this part too. And they said, I need to fix it also. So, there you go. So, thank you very much for watching. As I said, everybody that supported it, the comments, the shares, the likes, all of that, I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. So, with that, I'm wrapping it up. Call it a day. Make your scooter great again. Because mine is right now. I got the panels. I got the oil. I got the transmission. I got the belt. I got everything done that I needed to do. And it took a while, yes, but I did it for you. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. So please, as I always say and I always mean it, keep two wheels on the road and ride safe.